Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome, YouTube citizens. Well, I got a um, a, a, a text message from Freddie, Freddie Cougar from Initiative One, uh, basically threatening me that he was going to take me to court for, def for defamation. Um, I don't know how you can uh, get sued. I guess you can get sued for anything, but to get sued for telling the truth. So um, here's the deal. I'm not bitter by no stretch of your imagination. I could be bitter. I had to work through that. I forgive my wife. I, I genuinely forgive my wife. But here's the deal. A man, Jesus said it this way. Jesus says, he says, anyone that tries to save his life will lose it. And anyone that loses life for his name's sake will find it. What is the profit of man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? Well, je ladies and gentlemen, I have lost my life. I am losing my life so that I can find it. And I have found it by losing my life. I have lost my wife. I've lost my children. I have lost, I'm going to lose. I'm in the middle of a divorce right now. I'm going to lose at least half, at least half of what I uh, worked hard for. I don't really have much. The only thing that I didn't lose, <laughs> there's only one thing I didn't lose. And that is my love for Jesus Christ. I have not lost that relationship. My wife has abandoned me, my children, maybe not by their choice, have abandoned me. My friends have abandoned me, but Jesus Christ is still there. And Jesus Christ is so gracious to me. He is so gracious that he brought to me Pastor Dow and all of the straightway family. So I went from one family to another, uh, to a tribe. I mean, that's, that's even stronger than a family, I believe. This is a tribe where we all have each other's back. So little Freddie, you can use all your scare tactics. It doesn't work on somebody that doesn't have, on someone who doesn't have anything to lose. If you want to take me to court, go ahead and take me to court. You can take me to court, get in line right behind my wife. I'm paying for her lawyer. I'm paying for my lawyer. I can pay for my lawyer to go against your lawyer. And let's just see how far this is going to go. But I have learned the true meaning of contentment. I have learned to be content with a lot and I've learned to be content with little. I've already know what it's like to be a millionaire, to be famous. And I can tell you right now what people will pay billions of dollars for I have and you can't take. And that is my peace. I have a peace that passes all understanding. And what I'm going to do, what I am doing right now is I'm taking a negative and turning it into a positive. I am not going to lose my family in vain. I am going to use this. This is a great motivation. It kind of remind me of the movie of Braveheart. When the guy lost his family, he was just a simple man. He just wanted to spend time with his wife, his children, mind his own business. They were trying to get him to go into this war. I think it was William Wallace. I don't know if it's accurate, accurate or true, but I'm going off of the movie by Mel Gibson. And it wasn't until they took his wife and his children that he became motivated to go to war and fight Scott. I don't know if it was for Scotland, or, but to go into war. Well, guess what? I am the William Wallace right now. And so what the devil meant for evil, Yah is using for good and is motivating me now to do something that I probably wouldn't have done if this didn't happen. So as much as I hate what happened, as much as I miss my wife, or just, I love my wife, but I wish this didn't happen and miss my children, it is actually giving me a strength that I never, a freedom that I've never experienced. And now I am going on a rampage, and I am going to call out every single person by name, and the church that they are associated with, the organization that they are associated with, to show you what devils look like. Devil comes in all shape, size, for, in every shape, size, and form. And I am going to reveal that. 
I have time. I don't have wife. I don't have a children. I, I, I am free to go where I want to go. I have the time to go where I need to go. And I am going to expose the devil. Any person that, that was a part of putting asunder between me and my wife, I will expose them by name. I will, I will show you the church that they go to because every church that they go to and that they can sit there comfortably tells you that they are, that church is of the devil. There is no convention. I'm thinking of this woman that goes to the church I used to go to, Living Hope Church. She divorced her husband because she wasn't happy. He didn't commit a, just wasn't happy. And she said, I love Living Hope Church because you can come here and there is no judgment. You can come as you are and there is no judgment. She's literally saying that there is no conviction. There is no power. There is no Holy Spirit. You can do what you want to do. If you think you are a man, you are grew, you were born as a man and you came as a woman and you think you're a woman, you can go into that church and feel no conviction. No conviction. You can rebel against your husband. You can be adulterous in your ways and you can go to Living Hope Church and all of these churches in the Green Bay area and the Wisconsin area. You can go there and have no conviction. So I'm telling you, I'm going to take, I'm not bitter. What I'm doing is I'm doing what Ezekiel was called to do. I'm going to warn people and those who have ears to hear will hear and those who have eyes to see will see. Those are the people I'm talking to. And if those people love their love to live in their sin, go ahead, knock yourself out. But I am going to call people to come out of her. The churches in this area and the churches of all of America. But I can tell you right now, I am going after all of the people and all of the churches that these people are associated with and all of the Christian organization that these people are associated with to show you how wicked the devil is. He is in all of these places and I'm going to expose it. So if you want to take me to court, go ahead. Uh, it doesn't make me, makes me no difference. I think it's going to cost you more than it costs me. And I probably have a better chance of winning that case because I'm telling the truth. You can't, this, it's something called the freedom of speech. I can speak my mind. So I'm going to tell the truth. Everything I say, the names I reach out has been verified, has been confirmed. So I am not going to sit here and slander anyone's name. All I'm going to do is tell you the truth. I have evidence. It's been confirmed. It's been verified. So that's all I'm going to speak. All I'm going to do is speak the straight truth. I am not going to sit here, take it on the chin against these heathens. Christianity is not biblical, period, especially in this area that I live in. And they just mess with the wrong nigga. I'm just telling you right now, they mess with the wrong man. I, I was just minding my own business, trying to build up my financial company, go about my business, try to train up my next generation. Wasn't trying to hurt anybody. And I'm not trying to hurt anybody right now. I am just trying to warn people. So many people looked up to me. And I do not want them to think that I support Christianity anymore. I do not support Christianity because it's not biblical. Proof that it's not biblical. You got Christmas, Easter, Sunday. None of them are mentioned in the Bible. If anything, it's spoken against what not to do. But a majority, all the churches, all the Christian churches, a majority of them worship Sunday, Christmas, Easter. Just use those three things. Ask your pastors, why do we not do uh, keep the Sabbath day holy? It's one of the Ten Commandments. Who changed it? Do your research. Christmas, Easter. In this country, it used to be illegal to celebrate Christmas. It was illegal. Uh, the Puritans fought it and then eventually came over and, and we've been celebrating Christmas ever since. Christmas, Easter, none of those stuff you can support biblically. My wife left me because of false accusation against a ministry called Straight Ministry led by Pastor Charles Dow Jr., that is the most loving, the most peaceful, most God-fearing ministry I've ever been a part of, ever. When you come onto that land, when you even get near the land, you feel the peace that pastors all understand. It is, it is so much love. You can only take in so much love. You get saturated with the love, the love they have for their neighbors, the love they have for Jesus Christ. It is just off the chain. I can't make this thing up. 
People may say that, oh, he played football. I may have CT. Got, um, hey, I've had other people besides me, former teammates, people that came and checked this out, and they, they're thanking me. Thank you, Kabir, for telling me this stuff. You cannot, I'm to, I'm, I cannot keep this to myself. I am going to let everyone know that Christianity is not biblical. Now, if you don't care about what is in that Bible, then stay where you are. Stay put. You can keep them. I'm not going to be like Obama. If you like your health care, you can keep it. If you like your church, you can keep it. But for those that want the truth, that want the true gospel, the true Jesus Christ, the, 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 the Jesus Christ that's in the Holy Bible from Genesis to Revelations. If you want that, then come out of the churches you are in. It is the church of Satan. It is the church of the devils, the, the, the doctrines of devils. I, I, I'm just here to tell you. I'm even telling you, check it. Check what I'm saying. If I'm saying anything untrue, I will repent. I will be the first one to repent. You show me in the Bible that supports Sunday, Christmas, Easter, Sunday, Christmas, Easter, that's the three pillars in the church. And the only reason why the church, and a lot of the churches know that it's true what I'm saying. The reason why they don't want to stop doing it is because of money. Money, it's their biggest revenue. It is like their, it's like their Black Friday. This is a huge business. Church has become, it, it, it's a business. It's, they're making merchandise of you guys. I am not a guy that was, I was committed to the Christian cause. I gave millions. I can honestly say I have given millions to the Christian organizations in this community and all over the world. I have given my time, my energy. I was committed to the Christian cause. I was like Saul, who was a Pharisee among Pharisees. And now I have had my Damascus experience. I've had my dream. And I'm here to warn people, come out of her. Come out of these wicked churches. If you truly love Jesus Christ, I truly believe there are genuine Christians who are in these churches that genuinely, genuinely love Jesus Christ and trying to follow him just like I was. But people, I'm telling you, they are blind guides leading blind people. Stop listening to your pastors. Look at what the Bible says. Look behind the words. Start questioning your pastors. Don't go off of how well they speak and their, their, how they relate and touch you and, and hug you and, and give you nice coffee shop and a nice children ministry and programs to go through and little people. The king is coming. Wake up. I am that trumpet. I am the watchman on Green Bay, Wisconsin, in, in the Wisconsin area. I am that watchman. Come out of her. So this is, has nothing to do with bitter. People say, I forgive my wife. The Bible says, forgive seven times 70. I have forgiven my wife. I can't make my wife come back home. I can't make my wife obey me. The Bible makes it clear, obey your husband. Obey your husband. Go to your own husband. My wife is acting like a whore. She's listening to everyone but her husband. And she's putting our children in danger because of her disobedience. And the church and the Christian community is supporting her wicked ways. They're just straight supporting her. She has surrounded herself, like the Bible says, she has surrounded herself with with. with Teachers, she has heaped up teachers to tell her what her itching here wants to hear. That's what she's done. I've only had one pastor. My wife has three or four or five, six or different pastors that she is listening to. And the person she should be listening to, according to the New Testament, because I know Christians love the New Testament, according to it, is her own husband. Colossians 3.18 says, listen, obey your own husband. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 1 to 6 says, be subject to your own husband, even one that does not obey the word. So even if my wife thinks that I'm not obeying the word, the Bible does not give her a way out to come home. I have told my wife to come home. I forgive my wife. The question is, has my wife forgiven me of whatever offense that she's dealing with? She's the one that left. I'm still home. But anyway, even if she comes back home, 
this has opened my eyes. The scales have come off my eyes and I am going to get the word out. I will be naming names. I will be naming organizations. I will be naming churches that are of the devil. You're, and I have and all of them been confirmed and verified. Anyone that's put asunder on my marriage, you will be exposed, hands down. So anyway, I'm looking forward to this stuff. This is this is the freest I've ever been. This is the this is the greatest piece I've ever experienced. I'm literally losing. I've lost my wife. I've lost my children. The Bible says that anyone that have lost wife, children, houses, everything for my name's sake will get it, gain it back more times in this lifetime and in and in and in the next. So it's in the Bible. You can read it for yourself. So anyway, um, Stay tuned, stay tuned, but I'll be giving names, organizations. I am going to, and if you want to go ahead and sue me, sue me, sue me. I mean, get in line. My wife is the first one. Well, you know, my wife is the first one that started the process, even though according to first Corinthians chapter six, first Corinthians chapter six says, don't go to the unrighteous. Don't go to the unrighteous judge. Take it to the saints. Take it to the saints. My, I told my wife that too. She ignored that because she does not follow the Bible. She doesn't follow the Bible. And the churches that she is a part of doesn't follow the Bible. I went and asked them to adjudicate our matters. And they allowed my wife to take me to court. So if you, I'm, all I'm going after is Christians. You know why? Because it was Christians that was a part of destroying my marriage. Help to destroy. None of them told my wife to go back to her own husband and listen to her own husband and win him. Win him. If he's wrong, you win him by your own conversation, by your own conduct. No one has advised her to do that. They asked her to leave me, to leave me and teach me a lesson, withhold sex from him, withhold affection from him, withhold his children from him, withhold. I mean, who is that Christian? Is that biblical? I couldn't even tell you what my sin is. Couldn't even tell you. Oh, the only thing I can think of is that um, because I wouldn't break away from straightway ministry for no reason, just because my wife didn't like them. No, nothing biblical. Because uh, uh, she, because I kept the Sabbath day holy. That was another thing. I mean, people, this is crazy. Because I didn't keep this, because I wanted to keep the Sabbath day holy and do what the Bible says. And because I have a view of women that is more biblical, but they want me to have a view of women that's closer to the feminist movement. And then she wanted people who don't believe in the Bible to lay hands on me, to deliver me so they can deliver me from something. I really think they just want to put back that Ahab spirit on me. I'm not going to have anyone lay hands on me that is, does not fear Yah. So anyway, this is my, I just want to, I guess you can make this a part of um, my journey, but this is a warning. I am coming. I'm going to give names. I'm going to give organizations so that you can see. Who, who to stay away from and who to pray against this 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 is the church of satan come out of her please tell me your thoughts i would love to know your thoughts if i'm wrong if i'm bitter some people say that this doesn't sound like this love in my voice i don't know i don't know what love is <laughs> love is loving god with all your heart all your mind and your soul and loving your neighbors yourself i love my neighbors enough to tell them the truth that's love and i'm willing to lose it all to tell the truth if i wasn't loving i'll be more self-focused and worry about not losing my reputation losing my family losing my life i love my neighbors so much that i'm willing to put everything on uh, put everything at risk to tell the truth to my neighbors because i love them but more importantly, I love Jesus. I love Jesus and I'm about his business. Just like Jesus was about the father business, I'm about my master's business. And a wife should be about her husband's business. That's the right order. So anyway, uh, stay tuned, but please, I would love to, I would love to hear your input. Give me, if you have any questions, please tell me. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm doing wicked. I would like to, and tell me how I'm doing wicked. And if you can use any Bible reference to point 
how I'm doing that because that's the only thing I've been to is the word of Yah, not your opinions. I do want to hear your opinions, but I hope that you can back it up biblically. If I can Bible it, I can believe it. Shalom, shalom.